Hi, everybody. Yanko Kachera here. How you doing? A lot of people have asked me, when you're done with a painting, what do you do? So I just finished this one called Into the Woods. Acrylic on three quarter inch white pine. I love I love the smell of wood. Anyway, it's called Into the Woods. So when I'm done with this, make sure it's all dry. You got a clean surface. And what I like to do is on the back of each painting, I write the name of the painting. In this case, I, I usually do a, a hashtag. So when I post it on social media or wherever, uh, you could just uh, go to the post the hashtag into the woods. So in to the woods. And then Yonko. And I always like to put a date. So 12, 19. If you want to, you can put a specific date, but 12, 19, you know, the month and the year is, is fine. So after this, what I like to do is uh, put a, a wire on the back. And what I did, just on Amazon or wherever you order your art supplies, you can do a search for small D-rings. And D-rings are nothing more than just little, little, uh, little kind of hook things that you can put on the back of your painting with a screw. So you can hang them nice. This is a pack. I think I got a package of a hundred brass D rings and screws for like five ninety nine, delivered on Amazon Prime. You know, so take them, and you can you can be really specific and anal if you want, and measure down and measure it everywhere. But if you just have a good eye, like most artists, you can kind of just feel where the where they should go, one on either side. And what I like about the the white pine, it's it's really easy to to put the screw in, just like that. And you go until until it stops, and give it like one little quarter turn. You don't want to go too crazy. And the other side. And sometimes, I don't know why I'm having a problem with that one, but we'll see. We'll go in. And, you know, I never had this problem. It's only, it's only now, so I'm going to just get another screw for whatever reason. That one's messed up. So I'll go, I'll take this one. Yeah, that one was just a little messed up for some reason. And go here. See. Anyway, this is to show you that, you know, not everything is so perfect. But anyway, <laughs> screw that one in. And... There we go. That's in. Now wire. Same thing. I ordered this wire too. It was a couple of bucks. Um, what I like to do is just do measure length and just kind of double that and give it a little cut. I mean, if you have a really heavy, heavy painting, you know, you need to have the wire have a much heavier duty wire. But these are these are pretty light, so it's not such a big deal. And I always like to twist the end a little bit so it doesn't fray. Put that through there. The other side.
bring it around. And then back through. So once you even them up a little bit, kind of like shoelaces, just go ahead and twist. A lot of times you can just take the one and twist the one around the other wire until it gets going. And then you'll, you'll, you'll feel there'll be a natural rhythm that you start twisting, twisting, twisting until it's all nice and twisted. And that, you know, that's doubled up. So that's gonna, it's gonna stay on the wall for a long time. <laughs> Go like that, put it through, and then bring it back, and then just just twist the the excess around. And then you got a hook for the back. So that's kind of cool. And the other thing I'd like to do too is uh Get this plastic wrap because I know a lot of artists for whatever reason once you finish something we just put it on the side put it on top of another piece of artwork or whatever and I found that a lot of times I I went to go get a painting to give to somebody and it was damaged or wrecked or whatever and by just wrapping this up I give it a, I give it a good wrap by giving it a good wrap it really it really protects it pretty well and then I just put it, wrap it up. And I like to just put it on the side. You know, you can read it on the back, but I just like to put it on the side into the woods. So then when I place it, you can see what it is. So yeah, so that's a, a nice wrapped piece. And when somebody was, when somebody gets this, they're like, Wow, it feels really nice and it feels good. It's wrapped and it's ready to hang and you're all set. So anyway, um, enjoy my artwork. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go online. But the most important thing is enjoy artwork and have a good day. Bye.